The Irving Heritage Society celebrates and preserves Irving's history every year during April with Celebrating Irving, the City and the Man. Mary Higby and Lee Bailey join me with some insights into this annual event. Ladies, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's so great to Thank see you. you. Hello. I'm thrilled to see you. Mary, let's start with the how. Why did the Heritage Decide Society decide to focus on April uh, as the right month to celebrate Irving's history? Well, there are two special anniversaries that happen in April. One is the birth month of Washington Irving, who happened to turn 238 years old this month. And it's also the month that Irving became incorporated and our first mayor was elected in 1914. So yes. it seemed a natural time to celebrate. <laughs> very, very significant dates there. So Lee, tell us what is Washington Irving's connection to the city of Irving? Well, Washington Irving has never been to Irving, but our founders were of, uh, they were followers of Washington Irving having come from Iowa and other areas that in those days, in the early, late 1800s, early 1900s, Washington Irving was a very prominent literary figure that many people were following. So Nettie Barkus Brown suggested the name and Irving was named after Washington Irving. And that's a connection that, that the Heritage Society has really explored in some extraordinarily inventive ways over the years. So Mary, tell me, what are some of your favorite highlights from past celebrations? Oh, you know, there have been so many. We've had wonderful speakers. We've had uh, uh, programming where we honored the women of Irving's history with uh, Netta Marcus Brown, uh, Esther Hurwitz, Jackie Townsell. We've had Will Moses, the great grandson of Grandma Moses here because he illustrated two of Washington Irving's stories of Rip Van Winkle and Legend of Sleepy Hollow. But I think the temper topper was the year we did Grant Wood, the connection to J.O. Scholes, who was from Iowa, and nothing says Iowa like Grant Wood. And we did the Tableau Vivants, and where the school students from MacArthur, no, they were from Singley, came and performed the scenes from Grant Wood paintings. That's the favorite. Uh, well, absolutely. L I, I loved that and everything that you've mentioned, I've, I've you know, been very fortunate to be a part of. But I'm going to confess to you that the thing that I look most forward to every year is the trivia contest. Lee, Lee I have to ask you, what are, what are your favorite highlights from past years? I like the way we've just done different things each year. We've incorporated our at different civic groups have joined us making it a, a, a different slant each year on the celebration. The geocaching was super interesting. Uh, we did a Google Hangout a couple of years ago and I hadn't thought about it till this weekend. That was really the first virtual Washington Irving tea and just how we've been able to connect with people in technology and in different ways. I think that's been exciting for the community. I, th I think you're right, absolutely, and and you bring up a really great point. I mean, this year, everybody's gone to Zoom or some kind of online platform because we've absolutely had to, but the Heritage right. Society was kind of out front, you know, <laughs> as far as that goes. So this year, we, we have had to, you know, pivot to, to Zoom and such. What does this year's celebration look like via Zoom? Well, we did have, uh, we celebrated Washington Irving's 238th birthday last Saturday night with guests from California, Florida, I'm not uh, uh, Iowa, Texas, Massachusetts, uh, Massachusetts, all over about 37, 38 people um, had a uh, Linda Schuler Ford, who's a storyteller out of Terrytown or from Terrytown, talked about Terrytown and the influence it had on her, had some special toasts, one by Tracy Hoffman, the president of the Washington Irving Society. Had some trivia led by Craig Bowman and just had a good old time, like a happy hour. It sounds yeah. like it was so much fun. And, and unfortunately, I couldn't be there this, this time. But I love how the Heritage Society makes it a point of, of 
exploring all this history in such a fun way that has gotten people involved at every level. You, uh, earlier, I think Mary mentioned the Boy Scouts, or maybe she didn't, maybe I just made that up, but bringing kids in, bringing kids in from mm -hmm. the schools, from the Boy Scouts, extending this month-long celebration that you guys have done for so many years now in such a great, great way. So Mary, if people want to learn more about the Irving Heritage Society, and I think there's a little something that's still going on this month, uh, what do they need to know? There are. There is two ways that they can reach out to us. Our uh, email is Irving Heritage Society, all spelled out, at yahoo.com. Or they may call 972-252-3838. And we are doing trivia on Facebook. So there will be four full weeks, Monday through Friday, that we will have questions. There's one posted today already. And um, we'll be giving away some prizes and a grand prize as well. What a great way to keep keep the beat going, you know, and, and keep getting people involved and looking forward to next year. So I'm going to let that be my last question to both of you. Uh, Lee, what are you most looking forward to when we get to this new normal? To see kids interact in person, helping us to celebrate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I absolutely understand that impulse. Believe me. <laughs> and Mary, what about you? It's, it's seeing the people in real life. I think we all miss that. Yeah, I, I think so too. It'll be great to uh, actually be face to face and not necessarily have to wear a mask when that day comes. So I'm looking forward to that too. So folks, you can learn more about the Irving Heritage Society at irvingheritage.com. Learn about Irving's history at the website. And also, if you want to play a little Irving trivia, make sure you visit them on Facebook. Mm -hmm.